Praise the Lord. Welcome everyone to this session of the Bible study. This is part 17 of the book of Revelation. Uh, we are in the middle of the tribulation week. We are uh, on in chapter 13 of uh, Revelation. Uh, if you, when you are able to see this uh, screen, you will know that uh, we are uh, now finished the, um, the seven seals, the seven trumpets, the seven key figures, out of them we saw uh, six of them so far. Okay? Then we will further see all of the other ones uh, quickly enough. We saw the woman who is Israel. I will I'll revise last times because I went too fast. I will do some more revision of last week. Then uh, the, we saw the dragon. You can describe the dragon. What is the key feature of the dragon? Red color. What else? And uh, seven heads. Seven heads. Ten crowns. Ten crowns, yes. Ten horns. Ten horns, yeah. Okay. Then uh, we have, uh, then we saw whom? Beast. Then we saw the beast, yes. Then we saw the, uh, we are go. We, then we saw the second beast, which is the Antichrist. Yeah. Which is, look, which has similar, uh, uh, characteristics of the dragon they have it has seven heads yeah. and then now we will we stopped there last week so I'm going to do a bit of revision uh, as we go they are right there now uh, we saw and I'm going to remind again did you all read Matthew 24 you get a chance please read Matthew 24 that is the Lord Jesus's description of the last days Okay, these are the last days. The rumors of war, the nations against nations, famines, pestilences, earthquakes. And he said, learn the parable of the fig tree. When the branch is at tender and put forth leaves, you know summer is nigh. Yeah. So likewise, when you shall see all these things, know that this time is at the door. Okay. This is our dictionary as we go along. We will add a few words today. Then I will have it tomorrow. First, we will do some reviews and questions of last week. Then we are going to see some instructions to believers. We are in the middle of chapter 13. We will see the rise of the false prophet. Mm -hmm. Then we will see the image of the beast. Then we will see antichrist signs and wonders. Then the mark of the beast. And the curious thing about the number of the beast. Okay, it's exciting. We saw last week this Israel, the woman. If you see Romans 12th chapter, the first few verses, it talks about there was a sign in heaven or a wonder in heaven and there was a woman who was clothed with the sun, number one, who had the 12 stars under her feet and the, she had the moon over her head. Okay, and she was pregnant. Now I said last week that that woman represents Israel because based on the vision Joseph had in chapter 37, he said, I, he told his dad, I had this vision where the sun, moon and stars bow down to me. Right? Based on that, we conclude that this, is, this woman is Israel. And God was very protective of Israel. Right? And she was waiting to deliver a child. So that wonder is given because to give to raise the identity of the person who is shown there. Mm -hmm. So who was the the child? That uh, then the second character is introduced. Who is that? The dragon. The dragon is waiting to devour, devour the child. So only one case it was that was Matthew two we saw where Herod tried to kill. Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. right? That is the dragon. Then it says, then there is a, then the after the baby is born, the Lord takes Israel and puts the child, puts the, uh, Israel in a special place in the wilderness, mm -hmm. protecting from the dragon. Mm -hmm. We saw that last week. Yeah. Any questions so far? But the twelve stars, like um, the twelve has a twelve, 12 tribes. tribes. Yeah. Basically, that's what it is. Yeah. <clears throat> and then um, after that there was a war in heaven. Michael the archangel fought with 
the um, the uh, dragon and his angels mm -hmm. and he threw one third of them to the earth yeah. so one third of the hierarchy in the devil with him are thrown to the earth they are going to deceive people mm -hmm. okay now there was a question that maybe i was not very clear on the three heavens mm -hmm. so i got a picture here uh, can they see the picture a little bit mm -hmm. yeah so the picture shows the first heaven is the atmosphere mm -hmm. where the clouds are where uh, the uh, you know the weather system is where all the um, you know the oxygen is and all the air is it extends to 2. Point some kilometers mm -hmm. so after that there is space and that is called the second heaven space has all the spread of the universe where there is stars there is uh, what you call galaxies everything is the second heaven then there is a firmament and then there is the third heaven where god is the throne of god is and that is the third heaven and the firmament is made of water water see in the in genesis god separated the waters from above with the waters from below so there is water in between in the firmament so this is a nice picture i found mm -hmm. which explains clearly mm -hmm. how the three heavens are established okay any questions on the heavens anybody can put uh, questions on um, you know on the on whatsapp too. I'm, I'm, or for, uh, facebook anywhere okay then we saw the fourth empire we talked about the fourth empire based on daniel 12 we saw daniel 9 we saw that there were uh, um, there were there was a fourth kingdom which uh, which saw the beast coming out of the uh, waters right we saw a beast it had so many it had how many heads seven heads again seven heads, seven heads. it had the face like a tiger mm -hmm. it had um, ten horns and ten crowns and it had body like leopard, leopard. and it had feet like bear, bear. Yeah. this was the beast of Daniel <clears throat> it was a composite of all the four beasts which Daniel saw now the what is the fourth empire to go to that you have to go to this what you see in this picture the Daniel 2 the vision of Nebuchadnezzar that's where it all the Lord started to reveal what he's going to do for the whole um, universe or for the whole world. Mm -hmm. So the first empire, he said, your head is made of gold. Mm -hmm. So that is the Babylonian empire. He said, Nebuchadnezzar, thou art the head of gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then came the second empire with Darius called Medo-Persian empire. Then came the Grecian empire, the third, that is made up of brass. The medio Persian Empire was inferior to gold, it is made of silver, so the arms and the chest was made of silver. And so the Grecian Empire <coughs> is made of brass, and that was Alexander. Okay, then came the Roman Empire. That empire is the one with the feet, with the iron. Then this then it changed, metamorphosized is the word, or changed into an empire of iron and who can tell about the toes clay. Clay. clay that is the feet and that is the roman holy roman empire that's the roman catholic church today what started off from nebuchadnezzar before him from nimrod in the genesis is sitting in the babylonian church okay any questions so far? Anybody? <clears throat> so then the Lord then the Lord said, if you remember, after the beast was revealed, the Lord said, if anybody has a ear, let him hear. It is uh, uh, Revelation 13, 9. Okay, we go to there. 13, 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of saints. Revelation 30, 9 to 10. 
Okay? Now, Revelation 13, 7 and 8, the Bible says, this beast will make war with the saints. You remember? That yeah. it makes war with the saints because it is thrown from, now the dragon is thrown from the heavens, from the second heaven where he is now ruling. Because if you read Ephesians 6 chapter 11, 10, 11, 12, it talks about the hierarchy of angels, mm -hmm. of the devils, of the devil system. It talks about um, uh, wickedness in high places. So this is the ruling area of, of Satan. And he comes to earth also because he is the god of this earth. So now he is thrown from the second heaven down to we have seen that before. And now that whole area, universe is declared the kingdom of Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So now he only has to operate within the atmosphere. So that is where he is thrown down now. And that's where in this part of Revelation is there. So now he brings a beast from the waters. We saw the beast. Seven-headed, mm -hmm. lion face, mm -hmm. leopard, bear. This guy comes. And he makes war with the saints. If you read Revelation uh, 12th chapter, 13th chapter, 7 to 8. We ended last week with that. He made war with the saints. It's, and it says, and to overcome them. Yeah. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues. Yes. So he has power over all people. And he tries to overcome the mm -hmm. saints of God. But saints are sub are supposed to overcome. That's why it says, he that overcomes till the end will be saved. Mm -hmm. So that is our requirement from God. Any questions about it? What do you mean by saved? Saved means he, we will be, we will not be destroyed. Saved from the, from the, what you call it, like getting salvation. We are pulled out of the, um, un, for un, uh, what you call, undescribable end. You know, the total end is when you will, be finished. So when you overcome, we will be with the Lord. Because you see, the, the, one of the uh, fifth seal, fifth trumpet, we saw that they are under the altars, right? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. people who are uh, mm -hmm. martyrs. martyrs, who are overcomers, they are called. That's what it is all about. So does that mean that uh, if you are not an overcomer, you can lose salvation? You see, that is a question which is very difficult to answer so far. But salvation is a gift from God. But you, let's say you are saved and it you take... Irrevocable gift, re right? irrevocable gift. But if you take the seal of the devil, then you will not be saved. Mm. Does that, that mean... Means, that means you never even got you, saved. Yeah, you never got saved. Yeah. Mm. Usually, people who are got saved will be overcomers. People who are not saved will have, will think they are born again, but they will fail. That's what I So think. this statement of overcomers is then for believers or non-believers? For believers only. But then believers will be overcomers? Yes, they will be overcomers, but he will try to overcome the saints. Okay. But the saints will be overcomers always. Okay, okay. That's that's where the okay. implication is on the okay. on this part of the scripture. Okay. And now, but God says, here, see, that is the thing about this verse, the chapter, verse 10, 13, 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed by the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. God is saying, as you are saints, don't retaliate. Okay. This is directly quoted from Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to give you one more from Jeremiah. In Matthew 26, 52... Lord Jesus told uh, Peter, because Peter took the sword and cut the mm -hmm. ear of the servant of the high priest, Malchus. Mm -hmm. He said, then said Jesus unto him, put again thy sword into his place, yes. for all that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Mm -hmm. See, the Lord is preparing us for the day. He says, in that time, Antichrist, do not resist evil. Mm -hmm. And that means, do not, you know, kill with the sword to this thing. God says, I know how to protect you guys. Take it. Right? And he says, this is the patience and the faith of the saints. Mm -hmm. 
that is the instruction for tribulation days mm -hmm. he says you run and hide but don't kill with the sword yeah okay that is the patience of the saints the call for tribulation is implicit obedience because their obedience becomes critical in tribulation time because there is so much happening mm. there are two witnesses witnessing in jerusalem there is that antichrist is revealed there is uh, <clears throat> trumpet uh, tribulation so many people have died there is so many things going on in the heavens mm. the uh, satan is uh, trying to overcome saints lots of things are happening in tribulation we are seeing part by part but in your mind you have to put all these things mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. <clears throat> and at the same time israel is taken to one place 144000 people israelites have been selected to with the seal to spread the word of god um, there is so much activity going on in the world at that time okay as you know in part of the trumpets the three woes trees are burnt up one third of one fourth of the population is dead there are so many things happening in tribulation in the first three and a half years but this is a comparatively compared to the second three and a half years this is mild mm -hmm. we think this is only difficult we have to see the great tribulation it's even more horrible the, you see even in jeremiah 43 11 11 when he shall come he shall smite the land of egypt and deliver i'm not able to Can somebody read uh, Jeremiah for the forty-three eleven? I'm not having this. Yes. And when he cometh, uh. he shall smite the land of Egypt mm. and deliver such as are for death to death, mm. and such as are for captivity to captivity, and such as are for the sword to the sword. It is God who will do what is necessary to put people in captivity to for the sword in the people. It is God who is going to do it. Mm. Okay, as he did in the land of. Egypt. That's what they are saying. That's what God says. So He says for saints to have patience, don't retaliate, have implicit obedience, and and uh, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay. Now, <clears throat> as I want to say, there is going to be a new religion, which is going to come. It is developed over years of deception. people will wholeheartedly embrace it mm -hmm. okay it will be unified with science one religion in which all religions are acceptable one world religion yes it will be called by, by some name i'm going to come show you something shocking now which will shock you very much but uh, which has happened last year it will be having a one general name but all religions will be gathered under it there is a step there but this one world religion will come before the tribulation right yes but it by the time tribulation comes it will be fully developed fully developed yeah yes and uh, this one there will be one head of this religion is there will be the antichrist and he will be supported by the pope okay now this is what happened in september 2019 united nations alliance of civilizations religions for peace world assembly mm -hmm. this was uh, this was the meeting which inaugurated the one world religion there were priests there were hindu priests there were muslim mullahs there were everybody represented there in this gathering it happened on september 29 there was uh, this what you see this curve there it is called uh, the ring of peace you see the background yeah, there yeah. it's called the ring of peace it's a 25 foot tall wooden ring shaped sculpture it was uh, erected by the organizers to be a permanent multi faith inter faith uh, symbol according to this idol the ring is supposed to represent the wheel of buddha <coughs> the ring of prophet muhammad the ring of king solomon and uh, it talks about one uh, some other ring stories a story which unites all different faiths into one mm -hmm. did, did did any of us hear it mm -hmm. did any of us hear it did you hear this before no no i wasn't nobody heard it right yeah you you talked before to one time mm -hmm. yeah. but this is what is happening yeah. mm -hmm. 
September 2019, it happened in the United uh, Nations. It is ceremony celebrates the mutual completing and the complementary nature of all religions. They take the good of all religions and say this is the deciding authority. You can practice whichever religion you want as long as you subscribe to this main theory that all religions are together. Mm -hmm. That is... Don't hmm? they take good from Muhammad? There are so many things they will take. They will choose, Brother Ji. It's not necessary, it is the truth. But there are so many stories of Muhammad which he is very compassionate, in which he has uh, done some uh, giving, in which he has done some things which are, um, uh, which are, you know, which people think is very good thing he has done. Yeah, yeah. But they will take only those. They will hide the bad things. And they will take uh, the love from Christianity and they will take uh, from Hinduism acceptance of other things and all that. That is why devil started quite a bit further. Mm -hmm. Swami Vivekananda in Chicago, he came and he said, all religions are one. God is one. Mm -hmm. All religions are different paths to God. Mm -hmm. See, that is the concept where it, one religion will be formed. Mm -hmm. It is, it's all in the brains. If you are not a believer, what you will believe? God is one, everything, all, you, you believe one thing, I believe one thing, we all believe same God, right? Yeah. That is the foundation of one world religion. So this will have been developed already by the time revelation comes. Mm -hmm. So all of everybody will be looking down on Christians because we won't subscribe to this. Yeah. <clears throat> is it not? We won't subscribe to this. We say that we don't believe in uh, one world religion. Mm -hmm. We are... Christ and we belong to Christ only. See, when you when you are talking to somebody, when you are talking in public, when you are talking to um, your friends or this thing, you say God, nobody will take offense. But when you say the name of Jesus Christ, yes. mm -hmm. pe people, he is not generic anymore, he is specific and people yeah. don't like it so much. Yes. Okay? People who have gone uh, doing evangelism know this very well. So it's essential that we use the name Jesus Christ, yeah. Lord Jesus. Any questions? No. The dragon and will beast will be in the place of God. Jerusalem will be the ultimate place of worship. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem, the temple will be rebuilt and it will form the center of this one, one world religion. Yeah. Okay, the Jews will say, okay, you guys come here, we've got this beautiful temple, we got the priests, you guys can come and worship. Oh, they will use the temple. For temple, that. yeah. Members of this religion will need to have the mark of the beast. Okay? The people will sacrifice their hope of eternal life for faith in Antichrist and his prophet. Prophets. Because once you capture the religion, yeah. people will become one. Mm. Today in India, as an example, Hinduism is very, it, it has been, the flames of religion has been, you know, blown, air has blown over it and the fire has become big. You can do anything in India, but can't talk against Hinduism. You will be mm. almost killed. Mm. Same thing, you go to Pakistan, you can't talk anything against Muslim, mm. uh, even the Quran or anything, and you will be killed. Mm. You see where this is going? This same fire in the one world religion will be for all religions at that time. So people will not say your religion is less, your Bible is this thing, Quran. They'll say all books are together, one God. And why is that is happening? I'm going to explain now in this. It's the just before the second half of tribulation. This will already be set up because it's very critical, this one. People were, will think they are doing their God service when they worship Antichrist. Yeah, deception. Deception. Because you see the one third of the devils have already come. Mm -hmm. Now they want to make this place their own. Yeah. Right? So they will think that like serving Antichrist and his prophet is like serving God. God. And what I am going to tell you from the book of Revelation is not going to be far-fetched. It will be within the realm of possibility. Okay. Then he says in Revelation 13, 11, 
Now, how many characters we saw so far? We saw the dragon. Then we saw what else? The woman, the, woman, the dragon, the dragon, the beast. One beast. Yeah, another beast. And then now, and then we saw another beast. Yeah. Four so far. Yeah. This is the fifth beast before the great revelation. The this beast. I saw another beast coming up out of the earth. earth. He had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon. This is the third beast. This is the unholy trinity of the satanic world. Dragon, Antichrist and his false prophet. Okay. They all have one thing in common. They have the features of the dragon. That is the devil. The beast is coming out of the earth. He comes from among the people. Oh, so it's not basically physically a beast, it's like a number of people. Human. It's human being. Yeah. Only human being. Okay? He, he remember, he comes like a lamb. Like a lamb. Yeah. With yeah. two horns. But he speaks like a dragon. beast. Dragon. As a dragon. Yeah. Okay? He comes like a lamb. So he'll come like Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But he will speak like the devil. Deception again. Deception. People will think is Jesus Christ come again. Mm -hmm. You know, there was in uh, many years ago, maybe 10, 15 years ago, there was full page advertisement. Lord Maitreya is coming. You heard about that? There was full page advertisement, all the world's newspapers. He is Krishna. He is Jesus. He is Muhammad. He is this thing. He is that thing. Everything in one hand. He is born. There was announcement in newspaper. Nobody bothered. It's called Maitreya, Lord Maitreya. Oh. Okay. So he will come like Jesus Christ. People will, Christians will think he's Jesus. Hindus will think he's Krishna. Because he will be everything for everybody. Because he speaks like the dragon. Dragon is the owner of every lie. Brother, uh, two horns means like... Like a lamb. Like oh, Lord okay. You remember Lord Jesus... He is a lamb with seven horns in Revelation, but actually he is two horns, lamb, yeah. just a regular lamb, yeah. right? The, since both the agents of the dragon come fully grown, there is speculation about what type of humans they are. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. Usually, the earth in many areas in the Bible is talks about Israel. When it talks about earth, he's talking about Israel. It is a very far-fetched idea, but so that's why some people say that he could be Jewish, who's come out of the Jewish nation. Okay, it is, but that is speculation. It's not in scripture, but just it is, uh, just a thought because um, you see, this is what uh, they say about it. Then he says, now this false prophet thirteen twelve, he exercised all the power of the first beast before him. And caused the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast. Whose deadly wound was healed. Remember one of the head of the wound was almost dying. Mm -hmm. And the dragon raises him up. Mm -hmm. And then the world thinks, oh what a great thing he did. Mm -hmm. Now this false prophet comes along. Mm -hmm. And he will cause the world to worship the beast. Mm -hmm. You see the progression. The first dragon came. Yeah. He was thrown to earth. Then he brought his beast. <clears throat> oh, there is some question. Hold on. I, I don't know why Andre. I'll tell him. To. Okay, Andre's question. Good question. That lambs do not have horns. So how can he be Lord Jesus Christ? When they talk about horns, it is not necessary fully grown horns. A one-year-old lamb, a male lamb, will have small horns, mm -hmm. little bit smaller ones. So they're not necessary. Don't imagine they've got big horns. The lamb always reflects Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. In the Revelation, if you see from the Revelation first chapter, he has always been the lamb which has this thing. So in the middle of Revelation, it won't, uh, you know, change the, um, what do you call, the uh, uh, depiction of mm -hmm. who the lamb is. So this guy comes as a deceiver. He comes as a lamb with two horns. It's a, it's a uh, horns means it's a male lamb. That is the basic idea behind it. It's not just the horns. 
So brother, okay. when it says and he speak as a dra- dragon, means he like he speaks like a serpent. Basically, dragon is a serpent. Serpent, yes. He he speaks the because serpent language. Is the, I think the right word to be the way he's speaking. Yes, like he, the serpent, serpent received Eve in the beginning. Exactly. Everything is the so same. So he will be a deceiver, basically. Yes, that is from uh, Genesis to now. It is con- consistent. So speak like a dragon means speak like a snake. See, dragon is the old serpent we saw last time. Yeah. The four, three names: dragon, the old serpent, mm-hmm. Satan. Mm-hmm. All the same. Yeah. So when the Bible quotes dragon, it could also mean Satan. It could also mean the old serpent. Old serpent. All the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Quick question. Um, De- devil who actually uh, held a very powerful position right <coughs> by the god and he knows his might he knows his power yeah yet he's revolting against him because of the fallenness um doesn't the fallen angels along with the devil really know their end what it is going to be as it is written in the word he knows the word very well good question see when he knew god's power he was the covering angel he knew god's power the very fact he knew what god's power is he thought he can become god mm-hmm. he can replace god that's what he was thrown down yeah you remember yeah, yeah but now once he's on the earth uh, yeah so yeah he still under the impression that he is able to take god's place mm-hmm. that has not gone from him oh he's still operating in the same same okay. uh, same uh, this thing same arrogance mm-hmm. that he will become god one day that's why he is doing all this so one day he'll become god you understand he is not changed so in any way basically satan knows all the bible he knows all the word yeah. but in revelation he won't believe on these words right yes <laughs> he is <laughs> thinking he can fight against the god's principles and may change it mm-hmm. because if he takes so many people with him maybe god has compassion and god may change his mind mm-hmm. we don't know what is in his mind but the basic idea is that he wants to destroy the works of god that's what he's come for in john 10:10 10, 10, the satan comes to kill and to destroy. steal and destroy yeah okay but he still under that impression that he won't uh, this thing okay so now this false prophet will act under the complete authority of the sec- first beast remember who's who's this power first beast dragon. which was the first beast dragon dragon mm. he gives the power that dragon. is why he is giving the first beast yeah and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast mm. whose deadly wound was healed now this first beast is the antichrist mm. because he follow he comes in the power of the devil mm. but he makes people worship the antichrist because now the second one hour first beast before him is the one with the head which was wounded and was healed they giving identity so god is separating mm-hmm. the two in his in the one verse mm-hmm. so the first beast before him was the dragon mm-hmm. so i told you there are three unholy trinity dragon second one was antichrist mm-hmm. third one is the false prophet mm-hmm. okay the false prophet comes in the authority of the dragon and makes people worship the antichrist because satan nobody can see but antichrist is a human being they will see him mm-hmm. and he will be set up in the temple as god and so he will make people worship him mm-hmm. now he will come as god he will tell hindus i am krishna come back he will tell muslims i am mohammed come back then he will say i am jesus come back then he will say i am buddha i am mahavira i am everything he will prove to the world mm-hmm. how he will prove i will just go there so imagine this scenario there is one world religion un is saying that this is the way we are going forward mm. people are now being trained there is no god right in schools no god right but as they grow up they will they will see people fighting about religions mm. they're saying everybody is against religion because they're fighting on religions muslims are fighting against christians hindus are fighting against muslims lots of fight right mm. so people will get fed up of religion they'll say all religions are one let us kill this fighting you see how the trend will go then they will say okay you you want to okay we will also become hindus we will become christians we will all go together we'll make peace mm-hmm. that's the that's the pitch of the antichrist that's how he will deceive everybody with peace 
we will see in great tribulation mm -hmm. okay then he will he is actually uh, he is actually the wolf in lamb's clothing mm -hmm. i wrote sheep in lamb's clothing that is wrong he will come in the power of the antichrist mm -hmm. by law he will make a law that everyone should worship see once people start subscribing to this religion he can make law he says, if you agree all religions are one, mm. then you are okay. Mm. Otherwise, you will be killed. Mm. Otherwise, there will be a fine. Otherwise, there will be whatever like... Imagine like coronavirus. They will say, if you don't subscribe to this religion, you cannot buy. You cannot come in. To come in, we, you will have to have the mark of the beast on the forehead or here. Triple why forehead? Six. Why and the hand? I will explain. Triple six. Yeah, and then that number of the beast is triple six. We will see what is that today. Okay? Everybody, so far clear? Anything you want to ask question, you can ask. Anybody even in listening um, remotely, you can ask a question anytime. There is no problem. There will be a law that everyone should worship the beast. I have one question about, uh, you said that devil cannot, devil cannot um, uh, have a, a face to it. Like he cannot. Uh, you cannot see him. You cannot. We cannot see him, right? Yeah. So what is the reason he doesn't have that power, or Lord has not allowed? No, he is an angel. So far, we cannot see angels. Right. Even in the future, no, we I cannot know. see. Yeah, but that is why he is moving through people. Yes, maybe. always. Okay. Okay. It will remain the same. It will remain the same because till yeah. uh, Armageddon. Uh, there, it will change. I'll come there uh, oh, okay. towards the end. Okay. In uh, Revelation 19 chapter. Okay. That is. Still a few weeks away. <laughs> it's still a little bit away. All right. All right. Then in 1313, now how he deceives? Here it is. He does great wonders. Yeah. He make fire come down from heaven in the sight of men. Mm. Who did this fire, brought fire down from heaven in Bible? Elijah. 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 Mm. So what, now where is the trend going? Mm. He will tell that, prophet will tell, I am one of the prophets. Mm. If this is Jesus, mm. I am the prophet. Mm. The way you see did. transfiguration, you yeah. saw Elijah, I am here. I am doing the same thing, yeah. Okay, and we'll see. He will do more things after this. Here is God's judgment, what I call. Mm -hmm. Today, everybody, every Christian, most Christians follow after signs, wonders, miracles. Mm. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. God says, okay, here you go. Now we will see. Mm. Now what happens? We are, we are so much behind science wonders and miracles. On that day when science wonders and miracles are done, they will recognize him as Elijah who is to come. Yeah. Yeah. But we, what has God said? You have to know them by their fruit. Yeah. He is making people worship human beings. So he cannot be from God. But at that time, we won't have the... Because... The miracles will be spectacular what he does. Mm -hmm. Right? It's very similar miracles to the Old Testament prophets he will be doing. And even the elect sometimes can get deceived. That's how he will start to deceive people. It's not something extraordinary. We see nowadays also you will mm -hmm. see that. 90% right? of the Christians are following that. Yes. Yeah. So you will see then very few people are going in that narrow path. Yeah, only people with the, who listens to the Holy Spirit. Scripture. Holy Spirit. <laughs> so, you see, are we in that? We have to check ourselves every day. Yeah. If you announce healings and miracles, there will be a crowd. Mm -hmm. God's judgment is going to come among these people. You see, in 2 Thessalonians 2.11, the Bible says, For this cause God shall send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. You know in which context God is saying that? 2 Thessalonians 2.11 He is saying that if you read 2 Thessalonians 2nd chapter He is talking about the second coming of Christ. In the conditions before He comes people will send, God will send a delusion that people will start to believe this lie. It can be unreasonable now for us to understand but that time people will believe the lie because God will send a delusion. You want it? Here it is. Oh, you don't want God in your life? Here it is. Take the Antichrist. Take his prophet. This is how God will judge. 
Okay, if you read, go afterwards, you can read 2 Thessalonians 2 from 8 onwards. Talks about second coming of Christ. In that context, he says, the Lord, for this cause, the Lord will send them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Mm -hmm. You see, in, the, in one of the trumpets, there was so much destruction, so much problem, but the Bible says nobody believed God, nobody turned to God. Do you remember that? In that difficult yeah. time, nobody yeah. turned to God. This is what is going to happen for them. Now, Jerusalem will be, be the center of worship. Tell me why. Now that you have heard me for so many weeks, 17 weeks, why would Jerusalem will be the center of worship? Because they will build a temple there. Okay. Right? And uh, the one world religion, like if you say, like it's, the Jews, most probably the Antichrist will be from the Jews. Jews. So that will be the... No, the uh, false prophet. False prophet. Or yeah. Whatever. So... More important, the two witnesses, don't forget, the two oh, witnesses yeah, yeah. who are witnessing, till oh, now they are in, witnessing, yeah, they right? Are when this is going on, yeah. they are still witnessing. Yeah, still witnessing. I told you, there are so many things happening at the same at time. The same time yeah. They are bringing down fire, they are preaching, and this guy comes and he also brings down fire. Mm -hmm. And they are talking moral right, about mm -hmm. the word of God. This guy is saying, all everything is okay. So who do you think people will follow? Prosperity gospel. <laughs> Antichrist means Anti. whatever Christ is doing, this guy will do opposite. So yeah. while the two witnesses are pros prophesying, doing all these miracles, he will do counterfeit, same mm -hmm. miracles. Mm -hmm. But he, his religion says everything is fine. Mm -hmm. All religions are okay, everything is fine. Lynn has posted the question, Pastor, yes. in the mega churches, the healings and the miracles are right now being done in the name of Jesus. And during the tribulation, they will they do the miracles but not use the name of Jesus? Not necessary. They will use the name of Jesus. But which Jesus they are talking about, we don't know. Could that be the same scenario for today also? It could be. You know, it is so, it is so hard as a, as a preacher to make a judgment like that. Right. But you also always need to study the life of the preacher. Brother, people are using the name of Jesus and the people are getting the miracles done because that's why the Bible says in the last day when, the, you know, you will come to me and say, I, we did this in your the name. We did that, yes, and Matthew 25, yeah, you're right. So it will be done. But the thing is... Uh, they will use the name of Jesus. Ask her if I answered her question. Yes, um, there are so many being done today because the name of Jesus itself is so powerful. Yeah. That people get healed in the name of Jesus. Because yeah. hmm. God loves people. Yes. And the faith. Yeah. Faith in the name of Lord yeah. Jesus Christ. He may not love that uh, the person who person. is doing that. That's yeah. why he, when he comes to the judgment day, they say, I depart from me. I don't know you. Right? Exactly. That's the Matthew 25 judgment. Yeah. I personally think that is the believer's judgment, but it's up for debate. Mm -hmm. I am not uh, going to... Put uh, this thing because you really you can't know every everything of scripture. You only can interpret it. What is revealed only belongs to us in that. There are some things here which are hidden. You will see as we go into more into Revelation. Some things are hidden. Though it is revealed, some things are hidden still. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we, we see Daniel's vision in chapter 8, 11 to 13 talks about... Um, the headquarter, the abomination of desolation. Today I am going to deal with that. Mm -hmm. So abomination means something, what is abomination? Always I told you abomination is something which is against God's law. So Lynn is saying that yes, that means even today we can get deceived because there is so much out there. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Mm. Carry on. No, that it's good to have this discussion. Yeah, I, yeah. I have no problem stopping. There is nothing yeah. to... Listen. So you see, um, Daniel's vision, if you see Daniel 8, can somebody read 11 to 13? Daniel 8, 11 to 13. Yeah, he magnified himself even to the prince of the host, mm. and by him the daily sacrifice was taken away, mm. and the place of his sanctuary was cast down. 
and an host was given him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression and it cast down the truth to the ground and it practiced it practiced uh, and prospered mm. then i heard one saint speaking and another saint said mm. unto that certain saint which spake how long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of the desolation of desolation yeah to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden under foot yes okay there is a word which comes there i want to explain that uh, sachi's question yeah. has come uh, actually no she problem. asked that uh, 3 minutes ago yeah. if the antichrist is able to perform signs and wonders mm. then can people follow him think why antichrist is not able to stop all the things happening in tribulation that first of all as i told you there will be a movement of one world religion number 1 and second is god has already sent them a delusion to believe a lie mm. they will never believe the truth they will believe the lie that is the reason why they will never question these things even today people follow uh, religion which is uh, harmful like for example the muslim religion if you see the quran if you see the teachings they are actually anti everything mm. human beings but they follow blindly mm. women even in spite of suppression they will be more fanatic about this religion it is the nature of this thing that the deception is the nature of deception is that you will start to firmly believe it yeah so they will never question it because i think personally he will say these are all scientific phenomena so some science reason will be given mm-hmm. today they will say they are saying you know though it global warming for example i know i am stepping into mind stone now minds now but global warming is a false phenomena you know this because the scientists have falsified data to show about the global warming yes there are certain things melting but the ice in the arctic and antarctic is higher than what it was before so global warming is a money making phenomena actually so things like that people but in the world you you go and talk to a a uh, high school student and talk about global warming and you tell it is false you will see how much argument you will get but it is also true that the sea level has risen there is a there are there it are... happens every few years in hundred thousands of years every time it goes through the cycle there when the cores were drilled they saw the melting and uh, again ice formula of all through centuries mm-hmm. years and years whatever has gone through it has happened but they never had any technologies to know at that time correct but they what they do they they drill that i arctic yeah. they drill about 20 km 10 km or something like that they drilled and they get the cores and see how the melting and this thing was there okay. so there has always been melting and ice form phenomena mm-hmm. so there are so many other things it it, it uh, global warming is not necessarily a form this thing created by human beings mm-hmm. but it's up for debate mm. i don't want to get into that mm. uh, thing but what i'm giving you an example of global warming is the the teaching and the instruction is so much mm. that anything you say let's say there is antichrist let's say there is like what sakshi's uh, question mm. thousands are dying all around mm. but if he can give you a scientific explanation and you believe that explanation because the delusion also is there you cannot okay. convince them in any other way mm. right yeah that's that's what will be happening at global warming ki chhodo tribulation warming ki baat karte hain no i am giving you example of how people will blindly follow this yeah, thing <laughs> so this abomination of desolation daniel said will be in the temple lord jesus in uh, matthew 24 15 quoted this um, daniel prophecy he said when you see the abomination of the desolation can somebody read 2415 matthew 2415 when you see the daniel um ab, sorry not daniel abomination of desolation in the temple flee run and to the mountains when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by daniel mm. the prophet mm. stand in the holy place yeah 
where he will be in the holy place holy place you see the temple will be exactly built like the jewish temple so he'll be standing in the holy place yes in the bracket it says whoso readeth let him understand ah uh -huh. that is for us to understand mm. so what does it say then let them which be in judea flee into the mountain yeah he will says all israelites mm. who are living around there in judea mm. will need to run to the mountains the creature will be set up in the temple as god and the world will come to worship him you see in uh, in one uh, once god sends john to measure the temple did do you remember that yeah, yeah. i mm -hmm. put that picture mm -hmm. of the temple yeah. mm -hmm. then i said then they said leave the outside outer yeah. court without yeah. measurement mm -hmm. it is given for the gentiles to tread mm -hmm. yeah. who are these gentiles it is the world religion mm -hmm. coming to the temple You understand? Yeah. These are for forty-two months. Let them trample it. Trample it, yeah. Because now in the great tribulation, the same antichrist is going to give a different picture. We'll come to that in a few minutes. I mean, may not be today, but a little while. Any questions so far? Now, what all are happening? How many of you can remember what's happening now? Mm -hmm. Now in the forty-two months, let us see what all is happening. Two witnesses are there. Yeah. What else? There are already Amen. seven seals, seven trumpets are over. Yeah. Three bows are over. Three bows are over. Yeah. Then what else? Yeah. The hundred and forty-four thousand are preaching. Yeah. Yeah. Then what else? Two witnesses. Two witnesses. Two witnesses. Yes. What else? Women on the. Yeah. The Israel is moved yeah. up there. Beasts what else is happening? Beasts the beasts have come out. Yeah. Yeah. Antichrist is revealed. Yeah. His prophet is revealed. Mm -hmm. One world religion. <clears throat> One world religion has come. Yeah. What else? as you see this theater of operation is happening in the first 42 months mm -hmm. we are not gone into great tribulation yet mm -hmm. the second we, three and a half years you haven't even stepped into stepped into we'll step into now i'm i'm going to show you in a little while mm -hmm. okay so we are right there i just want to you to remember this that this is where we are mm -hmm. okay then he says he deceived them that dwell on the earth by means of the miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast so that a, a false prophet is going to deceive the entire world mm -hmm. the time i don't know how many billion people mm -hmm. will be on earth but he's going to deceive the entire world saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image of the beast now where is the beast uh, sitting holy place remember holy place, yeah. yeah then he says let us make an idol of the beast yeah and put it in the most holy place which had the wound by the sword and did leave so he's talking about the image of the antichrist but why they calling it the most holy place actually no i didn't say it. no I'm, why the, the it says the holy place in the holy place is outer outside the most holy place okay, okay. see in the temple you remember construction of the temple the yeah. of there is right? outer court holy place most holy place where the tabernacle should be there mm -hmm. but tabernacle is no longer anywhere yeah, in no this longer, world we, yeah. we we don't know where it yeah. is okay so let us not bother so according about to their temple construction their that's the how they will they be have, they will set up the image there there the beast will sit yeah. in the holy place mm -hmm. the most holy place now the false prophet is telling the world he'll do great miracles everybody will be deceived mm -hmm. he will tell them make an image of the beast of the antichrist he has done so much for you he has brought peace in this world he has made one religion he has removed all the wars everything so let us make celebration of mm -hmm. this god mm -hmm. you remember that's yeah. how gods that's will how come gods will come yeah in south india there was an actress in tamil nadu they made a temple for her. is it i think uh, yeah lots of actors they have amitabh bachchan ka bhi temple hai is it ha ah, ah. i'm trying to bring that phenomenon is nothing new Yeah. but it will be done on a world scale that's all mm -hmm. <clears throat> we coming from where we are coming from we can understand these things much oh, easier yeah. than the rest of the world okay so revelation 13 14 and 15 that they should make an image of the beast and had that had wound by the sword and live so he is identifying which beast now there are two beasts 
and there are three beasts actually so it is identifying the second beast this yeah. one had the wound of the head almost died and came back to life yeah, it's talking the about dragon, the antichrist after the dragon it's first beast first beast yeah. yes that is the one and and he had power to give life to the image now the idol will start to talk yeah you see he has mm. great power miracles mm. the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as them as many as not worship the image should be killed mm. Mm. the beast should the image the beast should be killed yeah so what do you do with the idol these days tell me what is what do they do in the idol when they place it in the any idol what do they do with it they take for procession always yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. there is a right? procession yeah. so this idol will be talking mm. so thousands will go to jerusalem to see when they say oh that this idol is crying this idol produces milk <laughs> this idol you saw this thing yeah yeah, yeah. you heard about yeah. this thing yeah, yeah, yeah. similar thing yeah nothing new yeah. same thing So this idol will be speaking. So how many millions will go to see? Lots. And that time, if you want to do that, maybe they'll give you free ticket to go to Israel. Hmm. Now we have to pay. That time may be free. <laughs> so when they go there, there'll be some people who don't believe the idol. It says he will give the image two things: both speak, hmm. and who do not worship, they'll be laser beamed dead. Hmm. It says the. beast will uh, the image will cost and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should the beast be should be killed, killed. Yeah. he'll give life to that beast hmm. and he will cause uh, the beast uh, the idol to speak and those who don't worship will be killed beast, yeah. and people will rejoice in that because somebody is there who doesn't hmm. believe hmm. has to be killed he will set up the false pilgrimage to jerusalem seven things he will do first is false pilgrimage mm-hmm. everybody will come from all corner of the world to see this idol he will say you have to at least once a year come and see this mm-hmm. so thousands of people will go he will set up false worship abom of the abomination he will say this is the god you remember is very interesting thing in the scripture when moses was on the hill and 40 days 40 nights the law was being given what did the israelites do they made a calf they made a calf and what did they tell about the calf the god <laughs> these are the gods that brought you from egypt hmm. yeah did the people believe it or no hmm. so how much it take time for yeah. people to believe that is the idol which is yeah. god himself yeah it's not impossible it's impossible not impossible yeah. it's all in scripture okay there will be a false system of Uh, this thing food you see hebrews 13 9 is an interesting verse be not carried about with divers and strange doctrines for it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace not with meats which have not profited them that have been occupied therein you see false system always accompanied by food mm-hmm. i don't know if you know food is a big thing for idol worship do you know that mm-hmm. always in temples yeah. there is food yeah yeah, yeah. guru gurudwara there is food yeah. yeah mosque there is food mm-hmm. everywhere there is food always idol worship is accompanied by food it's a phenomena so he will establish a food interesting yeah. people think oh it is such a philanthropic or humanitarian just uh, that they give food but it's not it's related to the idol that's the system devil system nothing new mm-hmm. okay the he will do a false system of breaking bread he will have false religiosity he will give a false sense of security against god he will tell you that this devil is the god and that god is the devil mm-hmm. he will we will so turn everything around religion, yeah. and false worship of a uh, false system of priests will be established there will be priests for this guy so when he is god he will have some people worshiping uh, making priests mm-hmm. right they will have priests too every idol has a priest mm-hmm. yes yeah. yeah that's what it is mm-hmm. then he will make an idol of the beast cause it to speak with the power from the dragon it the world will see oh 
he gave life to the idol. Yeah. So how great mm. he will become in the mm. world's eyes. Yeah. Because now the technology, 5G, maybe by that time 6, 7G, we will see things which we won't be able to even imagine now. Yeah. Yeah. Because technology is developing so fast. Yeah. He will do great miracles to deceive the world. Everybody will be seeing this. Mm -hmm. So, when you go and pray in the name of Jesus, people will laugh at you. What you are seeing, see that. How wonderful it is. Mm -hmm. What you are doing, nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that's what. Today, if you don't pray, if somebody fall down, they say you don't have power. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's already there. The, the signs of it is already there. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and there are many people who... Pray and nobody gets healed, but they are popular as healers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? That deception is coming. Mm -hmm. Right? This guy will do most of the miracles of the Old Testament prophets. Mm -hmm. He will be deceived. And another thing he will do is, he will cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bought, to receive a mark on their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man may buy or sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Mm -hmm. yeah. The mark of the beast is, um, is in the forehead or in the skin or in the skin of the forehead, the word epi. You know, epi means on surface. You can see it. It's very clear in scripture. This mark you can see. It, is, it only will happen after the false prophet is revealed. So today, if they want you to do the banking thing, it's not the sign of the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Okay? So don't think that that is the, this thing. We don't know what form that will take. But it will be on surface. It will have an identification. And the, it gives an impression, the word, it gives an impression of like a tattoo. Maybe an electronic tattoo. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. And why forehead? Why arm? It's hierarchy. Hmm. How rich you are. How more you worship. How dedicated you are. You get on the forehead. That is special category. What you have on your hand, lower category. Oh. Okay? You cannot even buy food without that mark. Yeah. Okay? Highest number on the forehead. <laughs> Second highest name on the forehead. Third highest number on the hand. Lowest name on the hand. Mm. So it all depends on your status. Okay. Then we come to this interesting, most uh, curious, uh, most, um, you know, people That's, were yeah. watching for this. Revelation 13, 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man and his number is 600. Three score and six. God says, here is understanding. Here is wisdom. We need to count the number. You cannot just assume this is the number. You have to count it. Number. That is the thing. Mm -hmm. And is the number of a man. And his number is 666. So what is this 666? Are you excited? Let's go. Yeah. It will be much more than what you think. Okay. This is the number of the beast is the number of a man. So what he is saying again is the beast is a man. Yeah. It's not, though he is described as having seven heads and everything, he's still a man. We have to count. See, John wrote in Greek. Mm -hmm. In Greek alphabets, every alphabet has a number. Mm -hmm. Greeks used to believe in that. This this number of the beast is, is an uh, alternate to the actual name of the beast. The number is not meant to be mysterious to any Christian. The Lord even said that this is the wisdom only. You, with that, within that is the wisdom to understand it. Mm -hmm. We have to uh, calculate correctly to really understand the, bee, uh, the name of the beast. Now, having said that, because there are going to be a lot of false cries, in the time when the false prophet is released and when he starts to make people worship the Antichrist, we have to make sure that this is the Antichrist. That's why this number is given to us. Okay? Now, this is the number 
chart for the alphabets in Greek? Stigma, stigma, stigma. Okay, these are all the names which you will see them. Alpha, alpha and omega, that is the end. Okay. Now, okay, what I did, I took some of your names and converted them into Greek names. There is a website where I can put my name and it will come out Greek name. So I did that with you people. Let us see your numbers, whether it will come to 666. <laughs> okay, here you go. This is your names in Greek. <laughs> Do you see how it sounds in Greek? <laughs> so I total Ravi's num name, all the letters you total, it's coming to 808. Calculated the number, okay. Okay, 808. So it's definitely not Antichrist. Thank God. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But no, point is, it's 666. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is a catch in that, I'll tell you. Now, Sister Armesh, 2036. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you, when you have some time, when you are re reviewing this, put your name in that website, your name in Greek, get you the Greek name, calculate your number. number. This is an exercise you can do. Okay? The number was given to identify the beast in Revelation. We are not sure, remember this, this is the catch, it's first name or the full name or last name, oh. nothing is given there. Oh. The wisdom will be revealed at that time. Oh. Okay, we, we will, God will give us the wisdom that time to calculate the number of the beast. Mm -hmm. Today, if you put Messiah in Greek, it is 656. Mm -hmm. Maranatha comes to 666. But Maranatha is not a name. Hmm. It is come, come Lord Jesus. Come, yeah, Jesus. Okay. Hmm, it will be clear on that day that the name. So you identify the beast with this. Hmm. It's not clear what form 666 will take. All believers will need to watch for it. If you are a Bible believer, the wisdom will come. Wow. You see many things today we are revealing. 100 years ago, they never revealed hmm. it. Even 10 years ago. Yeah. yeah. So... Revelation is always progressing. Okay? No, brother, I'm thinking about the brother like the so many things now actually. I was thinking about the gifts. Yeah. The gifts uh, which are mentioned. The gifts of the discernment of the spirits. Yes. That is most important. That is the, the best, gift, best gift. Right? Yeah. And the, the, uh, the gift of wisdom. Three things which I all, I ask and word of wisdom, word yeah. of knowledge and discerning of spirits. Mm -hmm. You don't need the other ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we God, have, have, God will well, give according to when his When we have the fear of God, then we have the, the wisdom. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, in the first half of tribulation, there was the revelation of the false prophet. Mm. There was institution of the worship system, one mm. world religion, set up of the antichrist system. Set up of the idol, the miracles, duplication of the two witnesses, the two witnesses will die and rise up to heaven. Yeah. Mm. Then the great deception going on and uh, it is right time to open the, uh, this thing, what do you call, the bowls now, which mm. are going to come. Seven bowls. Mm. So... We are right here in the red mark in this chart. We have finished seven seals, seven trumpets and seven key figures in the first half of Revelation. Now, when you come to Revelation 14, there is a, there is a bit of a gap before the seals come over, before the chronology continues. But, so far, this is what it is. 
Any questions?